Hi everyone. Sometime back I saw a Tableau's video based on marketing. A great video focused on marketing leaders. But the only thing that they missed was how to create these metrics. That's fine. I'm there for you to show the same use case as in the video, but also how you create these metrics. Otherwise, it's not complete. First, let's let, let us just try to understand the data set. Let's see how it's a typical marketing data set where you have the channels which you are using to pr promote your product, website, so forth and so on. Definitely site visits matter to you. You care about conversions. You also care about bounce rate, which showcase the time spent by your customer on your website. How much you are spending on media, impressions generated or your, your advertisement impressions. At the end, cost per acquisition, which should be low. So you can already see there are a bunch of metrics over there, which are in sync with the YouTube official video. But let me show you how to create these metrics. Now, I want to create metric on the impressions because impression is something which is missing over here. So I go to new metric definition. I pick my data set that is marketing analysis. I name this as impressions. Great. I put it over there because I don't have much time. Impressions. Then I say aggregation that is sum, which is nice. Running total. No, I want to have it as non cumulative. Time dimension is mandatory as you can see. So I need to put data over there. If you need, you can create some advanced definition over there. It will take you to Tableau desktop sort of interface. But we don't need it for this very particular scenario. Adjustable matrix filters means you want to explore this with respect to what all dimensions are there. So I do have channel and also I have objective. After that no, number format, you want to have dollar currency. So you can put it over there as per requirement, singular unit, kg, kgs, and all. So I'm just skipping it for now. Second one is time. For time, time date offset means if you refresh once in a week. So I would, you would like to pick seven days over there as offset so that it can uh, query the relevant uh, data. Minimum time granularity, I would go with a month. Now comparison, you want to compare prior period, it, it shows, right? Again, one, June, July 29, 2025 versus 2024. So you comparison with respect to the prior period. And the primary one would be the prior year. Okay, calendar, if you really have your uh, calendar, your uh, semantic model, if you're using a calendar, custom calendar, please use it over there. We are not using it. So we will go to the goal and threshold. Goal and threshold. Do you have data source codes? If it's already there, you will just go and pick those dimensions or measures in this case and time dimension for sure. Uh, you can also create advanced goal. It will again take you to the Tableau desktop sort of interface. So if you want to define it over there, the calculation you can do that as well. Uh, that will come under advanced goal. I want. I don't want to do that. So I go to insight and uh, the field is fine. When you're going up is neutral. Uh, so for me, these are impressions. If it is going up, a sort of favorable because if you have more impressions, maybe you will have more clicks, then you will have more business. Here, there are some of the insight types that you have. For example, okay, first of all, recording records and transactions. Do you have any identify for each or do you have any primary key? If yes, or say primary identifier. If yes, then please select that. This is not mandatory. If you have some identifier name as well, you can pick it. But if it's not there, you can just leave it. Again, similar plural. Uh, it's okay. I can skip that. Trends and change. So. It, if you just hover over there, it will show you what it says. Current trend means shows current trends to communicate the rate of change, direction, fluctuation for the metric value. Trend change alert means has you know, it has gone up, gone down. So shows new trends to communicate the rate of change, direction, fluctuation for the metric value. Then you have un unexpected value means something you know in the outlier, as you have in the box plot, right? The outlier. So show the test description, the expected range, and for the unexpected values inside, which shows an a metric value is higher or lower than the expected range. Now, one thing is there, if it has of the option to turn off, you think that this very particular trend and changes of a contribution breakdown, don't need that, you can always go and turn it off. For example, here it shows it will show you the top driver. If you are having huge sales, then it will show you that which are the top driver, which product, maybe you are having a super duper hit product over there that will show you that in the top five products so forth, so forth and so on. Top detractors will be just opposite means so uh, that change the most in the opposite direction. <laughs> in the reverse direction. Concentrated contribution means the dimension with a concentration of very high values, right? So the, again, I would say the outliers in a way that it is having a very higher values over there. Bottom contribution is just opposite of the top drivers, I would say shows the lowest values in the dimension for metric within a given time range. So I think I would go with all the options so that you can see. Last but not the least, governance. Now, if you are the owner of the data set or if you are the person who, who can certify the data set and you want other people also know about the same so that the other folks, the business users or the users, they are more confident when they are making use of the metric. Permission, if I go to anyone can edit, it can restrict 
editing, that means that I can uh, search for peoples or groups and I ensure that only those folks can def can manage definition of this very particular metric. So I go with this one. So I have only one user, so it says one user. You can edit manual uh, goals and threshold if you really want to do that, but I don't want to do that. So I will just go and save it. Now you can see that it shows green in color because I said that if it goes up, that's favorable, but at the same time, it is very, very doubt. I mean, like the scenario is very suspicious, but let me say why. Now, if you see over here, now let's go to the business side now. So if I go to back again, it shows, it was already there that bounce rate has gone up, which is not good. That means people are coming to our website and they're just going off for no reason. And uh, conversion is going down, which is not good. Conversion rate is, cost per acquisition is going up, which is again, not good. However, media spend is also going up. All of a sudden, it shows you the uh, period over period, and, and, and I can just go and drill down as well. For example, for bomb said, if I go, uh, it shows me that it is going up, but then what are the factors? So you can ask question, or maybe that question is already available over there. So I, I'm interested to see which channel had high bounce rate. So it shows me paid search. So I can even click on paid search, and it gets me to a metric which is focused on paid search. So it shows me actually that. In June 2025, the last month with complete data was 0.98 and was above the expected range. So there is some doubt about this bait search, but I want to confirm. So I go back and again go to the bounce rate, but this time I will try to get into other channels over there. So again, I say which channel I the bounce rate, and let's go for the social media and see that if there's the problem with social media as well. So when I go to social media, it says that this is well within the expected range. So I think now I'm getting a hint that there's a problem with uh, paid search. Maybe I would like to go to uh, media spend as well, just to confirm that where I'm spending more money. Again, there's an option to break down, but it will come when it needs. In this case, we don't. We have less number of dimensions, you remember. But anyways, we can go down, and uh, it shows that what's it, what is the trend. Okay. So here also there is a red red flag, and if I just go back and uh, Go to the conversion part now and let's see if we get some hint over there. So again, I'm interested to see which channel decreased the most. So I go again there and it shows me paid search. This is going the negative in the opposite direction. Maybe I'm again interested to see paid search and I'm now getting more confident with the fact that there's a problem with the paid search over there. If you see conversion rate has drastically gone down. And now I in a position to redirect one state one statement but the insight that i've got from the analysis that i had even as a business user mm -hmm. that there is a problem for sure where we have spent we are spending more money and that that money is going to paid search or you know paid uh, search analysis and for that paid search we are spending more but we are getting less number of impressions we are getting less conversion we are getting high bounce rate for that one that means there is a forced chatbot sort of thing you know, a, an automated AI bot, you can say, which is going to the website, opening it and closing it, opening it and closing it. And we had to pay for that. So the respective team should go and check what is going on. So that's all about this very particular feature. I hope this is useful for you and you could see something which was missing in the Tableau official video as well. If this video is making sense, please do subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, let them know the power of Tableau first. Let me know what all videos that you really want me to create in the comment section. So I will paste my popular Tableau Pulse series link at the description. So please go through that playlist as well. It's already high in YouTube ranking as well. If you just go and write Tableau Pulse playlist, you will see my playlist there for sure in the first page itself. This is this signing off from Dancing with Data. Because data is data. Everything is data.